Welcome back to Blaze Blue. No, I'm like, welcome back to Blaze Blue. Today we're playing as Lychee, and as promised, I did practice with her a little bit in the training mode. Don't want to see me suck at the game. Or maybe you do. Let's just do this. Excuse. Dr. Failing! Dr. Failing! What is it, Linwa? Is the next patient here? Cheese talk! That person was your last patient, you know. Something the matter? You seem out of it. My assistant, Linwa, uh, looks worried. I give her a bitter smile. I was just thinking about how long it's been since I've come here to Kagutsuchi. I think it's actually been a while, but now that you mentioned it, you came to this town because you were looking for something, right? I take it you haven't found it yet. Yeah. It's proving to be a lot harder than I expected. You look a little glum, Doc. R really? I guess I am a little worn out. Are you going to go down again today? By down, she means the lower layers of Kagasuchi. Hmm. Maybe I'll try going up for a change. By which, of course, I mean the layers above Orient Town, where the Liberium officials and other nobles live. It looks quite different. You almost wouldn't know it's the same city. Up? That's pretty rare. Something's been bothering me lately. Some NOL soldiers came to Orient Town today to put up new wanted posters. Ragna the Blood Edge. Apparently he's been going around destroying Liberium branches. And now he's come here to the 13th hierarchical city of Kagasuchi. But from what I've heard, Ragna's grimoire has unprecedented power. I'm sure that he would like to have it. But above? I can't really stand those guys. Everyone up on the higher layers treats the underground people like trash. I can do without those arrogant jerks. That's true. I can't say that I agree with what they do. Well, if you're going out, Doc, be careful. I hear there are officials from the library still running around. Yeah, I'll be careful. If anything happens while I'm out, can you call Dr. Han over? Ugh, that quack? I don't like him either. He looks so perverted, too. It's not good to judge a book by its cover. That's exactly what the upper layer people do, you know? Yes, I know. Good answer. Now be good while I'm away. I waved to Lin, Wa Lin Ha and stepped out of the clinic. As I look around, I can't suppress a small, bitter smile. They sure posted a lot on our wall, too, didn't they? The wanted posters cover every wall in sight. Any flat surface that has been plastered with his scowling face. I pull one down, fold it up, and took it away. If Ragna came from out of town, someone at the port probably saw him. In a world, in a world covered in clouds and st of Seether, people must use airships to travel from one city to another. That's how it's been since the war. However, there usually aren't many ships. I doubt a trip to the harbor would be a wasted one. Let's go, Lao Chu. I reach for my panda-like hair clip as if... As in to... And to respond to my signal, it repositions itself, moving my hair to the Let's side. Let's do our best. Even if someone told me this is wrong, even if I have to sacrifice part of my humanity, I can't go back. Until we find him. I'm at the port now, but I wonder if anyone really has seen Ragna. I'll need to do a little investigating. What? What? I swear I did not skip anything. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one. Action! Pure strength. Pure strength. It's gonna hurt. 
What the hell, Takaka? One person I know who would attack me in a crowded plaza in broad daylight. Tao Kaka. Don't jump on me like that. You startled me. Fine. I guess it can't be helped. But first, won't you get off of me? You're heavy. Fine. I guess it can't be helped. Tao, you need to settle down a little. Okay, meow. Yes. Good answer. Now, Tao, you're lucky it was me, but you can't just jump on people like that, okay? Okay, booby lady. Good response, and I appreciate you raising your hand. But are you sure you understand? You haven't done this to other people, have you, Tao? Oh, I haven't. Hmm? Booby lady, what's that meow? That's when she notices a, the wanted poster tucked between my breasts. What? This? Do you want to see it? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I pulled out the poster and handed it to Tao. He's not a good guy. This is a wanted poster for him. But he is a good guy. He was in your town, booby lady. Huh? You mean he came to Orient Town? I feel like in post I should put a flashback to... Um... Ragna giving... Talcock um... Food, but I'm not gonna. I fought him like BAM! Kaboom! And then he bought me lunch! So he's a good man, this white guy. As always, you have an interesting way with words. Putting the bam and kaboom aside, when she said white guy, she must have been referring to his white hair. I can't believe she's already met him. I can't believe Ragnar's already passed through Orient Town. This must be what they mean when they say the base of a lighthouse is ever dark. If Ragnar is already in Kagasuchi, then he probably... He... Prepare... He, then he is probably preparing to make his move. Thanks, Tao. It was good seeing you. Sure! I'm not really sure what happened, but I'm happy if I was able to help Mew. I'm taking off, so I'll see you around, booby lady! I should go back to Orient Town for now. What was that? It came from the direction Tao went. What should I do? Hmm... Ah. Hmm. I'm worried. I should take a look. Tao might be causing a ruckus for someone again. <laughs> that was fun, meow. Not bad, little guy. You're not bad yourself. I have some fighting experience, but... You use a really interesting style, and you're very strong. Quite dangerous. <sighs> I knew it. At least her companion doesn't look too angry. Hey now, stop fighting this instant, you two! Yeah? This isn't a fight, booby lady. We're just playing, meow. Um, are you a friend of this cat? I I'm sorry for all the noise we've caused. I'm merely a vigilante as is this cat lady, so we decided to put our strengths to the test. That doesn't seem like a really good reason. You must be quite skilled yourself since you can hold your own against Tao, but it's still dangerous. Besides, uh, Nirvana? What is it doing here? 
I apologize for being so inconsiderate. I only wanted to see some of her techniques, but I guess I'll be on my way now. Wait, that marionette of yours. Do you have some business with my sister? It's dangerous to have her by your side. At least let me... Do you intend to steal my sister from me? I'm terribly sorry, but I cannot comply with that request. Or are you going to resort to force? <laughs> The wheel of fate is turning. Okay. Rebel one. Action. I need a block more. my sister she's fine she's right over there sis thank goodness you're okay I thought they were going to take you apart again she she's called Nirvana she's a man-made weapon from the war I can't imagine why this boy would think Nirvana is her old his older sister perhaps she has some significant sentimental value to him are you feeling okay uh yes I'm sorry. Thanks for everything you've done. I'm okay now. I apologize for Tao jumping on you so suddenly. But why did you want to fight her so badly? It's not that I wanted to fight her. As I've explained earlier, as fellow vigilantes, we wanted to compare our strengths. Is that so? Huh? Looking at the way you two were fighting, one of you could have been killed. Uh, that was very rude of me. If it's the medical fee that you want, I can prepare that right away. That's not what I was trying to say. Then what is it? An apology? Don't tell me you want my sister. Tao, stop playing and come over here. Huh? I didn't do anything wrong. You can't get mad at Meow. Tao, I won't ask you again. Y yes, ma'am. <laughs> Are you too sorry for fighting each other? It wasn't a fight. That's right. We were playing meow. Are you too sorry for endangering each other? <laughs> yes. yes. I can't hear you. <laughs> yes. That wasn't any Here's better. your punishment. Oh, dear God. <laughs> if I catch you two again, you can expect a lot more than that. Meow. <laughs> Have you two even realized you're hurt everywhere? Nanya, this is nothing. I'll just lick it. Typical cat. Uh, they're just scratches. So please don't worry about it. With ser by serrated claws. I can't do that. I am a doctor after all, you know. Both of you come with me. I'll treat your wounds. That's too much trouble, meow. I think I'll pass too. Get over here. Or do what she says. She, she's scary, meow. Okay, that's it for the treatment. It, it stings. Now, the both of you are a lot stronger than the average person, and I'm sure that can lead to some advantages in life. But if you wield your strength for no reason, you'll hurt others someday, and yourself. It's in your best interest to keep that power hidden. Gotcha. I'll be careful, meow. Thanks again, booby lady. Thank you for the treatment. I'll excuse myself now. And 
Um, how much do I owe you? That won't be necessary. I brought you here against your will anyway. This person, she's just like... No, never mind. Did I do something unnecessary? If that's the case, you have my apologies. Let's go, sis. We have no more business here. Uh, wait! My, he's a fast one. Oh, boy. I forgot to ask that child for his name, too. I hope it was the right decision to not take that marionette away from him. Um, might be for the best. <sighs> okay, I'll read this in the next episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for or more. And I'm out. Oh.